the XY system is complete, but we still need to make the actual place where the parts sit on when being machined. But before we do that, a quick ad from longtime sponsor of this channel, NordVPN. The one thing that I like the most about NordVPN is to be able to watch content that is only available in other countries. You just can make your internet connection pop up in any of the more than 5,900 servers that NordVPN has in other countries and watch whatever you want. And you can use it on up to six devices and secure them all in any combination. Phones, laptops, tablets, anything. Step up your internet connection to the next level with NordVPN and right now get a two-year plan at a huge discount at nordvpn.com slash Miranda and use the code Miranda to get an additional bonus free. With NordVPN 30-day money-back warranty, there is no risk and at the same time you help me make more insane projects. Remember, nordvpn.com slash Miranda to step up your internet connection and now, back to the build! And that's the XY mechanism complete with ball screws, NEMA 23. You have shouted that so many times on the comments that I hope you are happy now. And this structure in here is because this is going to be a lifting table mechanism, meaning that even if you have a fixed set axis travel distance, you will be able to lift up and down the table to fit in it taller working pieces, like taller profiles and machines and stuff. So now we need to attach this to something. So let's make that something.
And you may be wondering why did I put an 8mm rod inside there? Well, the rod registers against the channels on the profile and that way the table can only go up and down, which is good when you want to keep the XYZ in a known place, more or less. I did swap the rods that I used in here and in here with lots of bearings because it wasn't really enough. I, I could feel the flex in it. So I swapped it for threaded rods and nuts. And now there is only one thing left to do. The wiring. And you and I know that wiring is super fun. Everything works as expected, even the sensorless homing. And I did order a vise for the CNC machine, but it didn't arrive. So we will have to use my drill vise. It will do the job, don't, don't worry. So let's make some chips. That was a spark, and aluminium doesn't spark, that's why it is reasonably safe 
to use IPA alcohol when machining aluminum. Be safe. Don't if you don't know what you're doing. So what's going on? Well, I disassembled the spindle and found out that there are three wires that are peeled and one of them was touching the spindle case. And I measured voltage between the part and the spindle and there were 180 volts AC between the bit and the part. And, and when, when the bit touched the part, it shorted and the power breaker tripped. So I fixed the three wires now and I think that we can continue now without tripping the breaker or getting electrocuted. So let's continue. It seems that I used by accident the profile for plywood. So I will go now to Fusion 360 and design a, a better one. It is improving, but I destroyed the bit with the first pass. We may need a new one. Let's keep trying. So, can you see the sparks between the bit and the part while I'm cooling it with IPA alcohol? Yeah, me too. It seems that the spindle is not grounded in any way, doesn't have a grounding point, and uh, that's bad. So I will install a grounding wire once for all and see if I can put this aside. Finally, no sparks! Let's cut some 2mm square box made out of steel. It works, it looks cool, 
This is the 3D model that I made in TSM 360. It looks almost the same. And as you have seen during the build, it has some cool features. If you loosen the wheel in the back, you can lower the entire table to fit taller pieces. Pretty convenient. By the way, you may have seen a lot of wobble in the thing. The table is far from flat. It's not that it is not rigid, it's that the table is, let's say that I haven't been treating the table very well. The other cool feature is that you can tilt the tool. And I will probably be showing how those features work in future videos. My machine in Kung Fu is not that good yet. It seems that I'm way better at making machines than using them. I really know nothing about my feats and speeds. This was quite a build. It took me more than two weeks to assemble everything. But if still you want to build your own, I will leave a link below with all the information. And well, I think that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons and members for helping me with these crazy projects because yes, you can now become a member of this channel. And now please go and make something!